Ya hallelujah, man, I told Kanania. Yahalalel ben Atul Kanaya from the St. Louis jurisdiction, and my name means the praise of y'all. Today I have the second true scroll in English, and it reads, Access to the proper knowledge, the prelude to the power, to change your thoughts, transform your environment, and understand your purpose. We need to break that down. Accessing truth will be the beginning of the power to change your thinking, to change your environment, and to understand your purpose or your instructions. That was already inherited in us. It was already in us. We just got to access it. Access the power. Because surely when you access truth and begin to discern truth, you will then access the consciousness that is needed and required to change your environment. A y'all mind cannot survive in an unholy environment. A y'all mind cannot survive in an unholy environment. You will become uncomfortable. You begin to feel out of place in an unholy sanctuary. So once you decided that enough is enough, you then access your purpose. Surely when you come to understanding that you cannot sustain life in an unholy system, you become a living spirit and you begin to understand the purpose. Understanding the purpose of a healthy diet. Understanding the purpose of your culture. Understanding the purpose of your language, the Shabbat, studying in the holy days. Everything we do is for a purpose. But accessing the purpose and understanding the purpose is not enough. We must apply the purpose. We must apply the purpose. What is our purpose? What is our purpose? And I want to read from Genesis 1.26. And it reads on this wise. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. That's some kind of power. <laughs> Those are instructions. Those are instructions. So, because surely, I'll uh, my flip my page. Sleek out. Sleek out. Sleek out. So it says having domain. Dominion. See, when we think of that word dominion, we think of it as a, a negative term. It's not negative. There's nothing negative about that term. And um, we have to reclaim, reform, and restructure a lot of these words that have a sacred meaning. A quote, uh, Yashira simply states that dominion means to protect, guard, and to keep the environment in a manner that will be pleasing unto Yah Yisrael. And that's a great responsibility. That's a wonderful responsibility. Not to destroy the land, kill off the animals and the inhabitants, or control the inhabitants. So to access your power, to access your purpose, to understand your purpose and to apply your purpose is fulfilling the actualization of your purpose. You must do those things. You must do those things. Quick testimony. Um, I was in school 
you know, uh, freshman and sophomore year, I didn't want my coach. I didn't. I couldn't. You know, I didn't have that power. I wasn't strong enough. And after my ABBA passed, a lot of you who know my ABBA to Kanaya, the zeal, the zeal, he was very zealous. And he always, he always told me, stay firm, stick within this kingdom. And I always kind of brushed it off. But when he passed, I missed him. I missed him. And I had to be my father's son, you know? And I had to be the example for my brothers and sisters. I had to access the power. I had to access the power and fulfill my purpose. In conclusion, I want to read Jeremiah 4.22. For my people are foolish. They have not known me. They are stupid children, and they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. So before you can attain this power of freedom from the state we are in, we must first change our thinking. If one cannot change his thinking, he will remain a fool. And being a fool is one of the basic ingredients in the maintenance of being and keeping a slave in the system which is maintaining the world's toxic environment. Yah is the only way. Truth is the only way. This kingdom is the only way to sustain life everlasting. Toda Rabah.